Okay, this tutorial is on how to use Google Forms. So if I'm looking for Google Forms, I'm going to click right up here in my Google Apps. And it is down here. It's purple. It says Forms. When I click on it, it gives me different options right here. If you are trying to create a worksheet, you would probably click the worksheet option. The other option, if you notice here, it gave you a sheet for a quiz. So I'm going to keep that one open as well. So here is where you could go ahead and actually make a quiz. So this would be what you, up here is where you would name it. So maybe this could be chapter for social studies. I could go here and name it again, chapter for social studies. Then I could put a description. Maybe this is going to cover the information from lesson one, two, and three for chapter four. And here is where you're going to go ahead and add questions. <coughs> Excuse me. So maybe my first question is, uh, what, um, how many colonies made up the 13, oops, made up the original colonies? And I might do option one is 12. Option two, you can hit add another here, maybe is going to be, oops, maybe I want that to be 13. Um, and maybe I want this one to be 14. I would get rid of this other option because that's where they would go ahead and type in their own response. Now, now that I know that this is my question, I want it to be multiple choice. Um, obviously, I'd hope they would choose this. You can put an answer key in here, and this would give students um, feedback. I can put how many points this is worth. Uh, so if I want to add feedback, I could put here that the correct answer is 13, but maybe their feedback, if they select the wrong answer, could be look over chapter four, lesson, oops, lesson one again. So maybe that's my help for them. So feedback for correct answers, 13. Feedback for incorrect answers, um, look over chapter four, lesson one again. So what this means here is if they get that answer right, it's going to tell them, good job, like you got the right answer. So maybe I could say, correct answer, good job. And maybe that's what I want to do here. And then here I can say, look over chapter four, lesson one again, if they got the right answer. So then I also need to mark what my correct answer is. So once I'm done with this problem, I can hit a plus sign and go to the next. Oop, let me go back to this question quick. One thing that you always want to do, um, make sure that you require the question. And I believe with this, with a quiz, the question is always required. So maybe I want to make this worth five points. So when I go to the next question, I'm gonna, the first thing I'm going to do is hit required. Maybe I want to put a picture in here. Well, here I can link this to my camera, which is going to show me, which nobody wants to see. Um, but I could also do the photos on my computer. I could do Google Drive, or I could do a Google image search. So if I had, or I could upload. So if I had a picture of a worksheet or a picture of a map here, I could put which of the three regions is the north region and maybe i can put a picture into this uh and once again i could always make it multiple choice maybe i want to link a video here if i want to link a video here is your url here is your um where you can search for a video if maybe i'm done with these two questions and i want kids to get done with these not be overwhelmed i can put this in here and this is kind of going to break it up before they go to the next section here is where I can change um, add a title or a description to a question. This is where I can import a question. 
Um, and then maybe I decided I want this to be question two. I can kind of move them around a little bit once I'm here. Once the students start to fill out your quiz, you'll be able to find your responses here. You can change the color of this quiz over here. Maybe I want an image for my header. Maybe I want it to be, do they have any for school? Maybe I want it to be just for kids and I want it to be this heading. I can insert that and now at the very top, there's a heading above my quiz. Um, I can go ahead and change the color. I can change the fonts. This here is going to let me preview what my quiz is going to look like when kids get there. They're going to answer these two questions. They're going to hit next. Um, and if you see, I forgot to hit that this question was necessary. So there's an asterisk here and an asterisk here. And that means it's required, but I forgot to require this. So that means a student would not have to answer that question. So always make sure you require. If I want to share this, I could hit send, um, and I have a few different options here. So say I have a teaching partner, I can add a collaborator, and now that teaching partner can help work through this with me. I don't really want to add a collaborator, but I can hit send here. I can send it via email. I can send it as a link, um, and I should be able to send it via Google Classrooms. I am not seeing that at the moment, but that should be um, an option. Now, I can also share that link via Google Classroom, I should say. Here are some other options over here. Add collaborators if I want to print it, if I want to throw this away, maybe I want to make a copy of this. Now, once someone fills out a survey, so here is my technology survey that I created um, for educators to do back in... January maybe or not January September here is where I can find all of my responses here is what people answered if you see it gives me some really good graphs and this information is listing it as all 15 responses together I can list it as per question um, so here is how each person answered each question so if I want to go to the next one here's how every single person answered if I want to look at an individual person, I can see exactly how that person answered. Um, I think the summary is best to just do a quick look over. If you see here, I think these charts and graphs uh, make it really easy to understand your data. Another great way that you can interpret your data is by clicking up here on your spreadsheet. And it gives you a Google Sheets of everybody's answers. So if I had was expecting everyone to put maybe a 5 here, I can look down and see what everybody put. So this is a great way to check um, for understanding. It's very helpful, um, but make sure you always title it up here. Right here, I can move it to a specific folder um, or move it to something else. I can move it around in my drive and save it. I can start it as a, um, something to come back to and find. So here is the other example, and this is the worksheet. Now, this is what the one I showed you in class, kind of uh, how you can still move it around, do different things. As you're working on these questions, remember to hit required, um, and that way they have to answer. If you hit this button here, it's going to duplicate your question, and now that question showed up twice. If I decide I don't want this question because I already have it, I can hit delete right here. So this is how you add a question. This allows you to import a question. So can I find a question I had in another form? This is uh, if I want to add a title or description to this question. If I want to add an image. If I want to add a video. How I can separate them. Um, description. Go to section based on an answer. So if I have different sections here, maybe if you get this one right, you're going to go to section 3. So once, if I section this here, I can choose where they're going to go. Maybe if you get this first question right, that's all I want you to answer, and then I can hit, you can submit the form. So you have a few different options here. There's a lot of different varieties of questions. You have short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, drop down, you can upload a file, you can do scales, 
a multiple choice grid, a checkbox grid. You can have the date or you can even do just the time. So if you wanna maybe know when a student answered this question or what day they're filling this out, you can have that here. So all sorts of different options. If you have any more questions, make sure you reach out.